Hi there, this video demonstrates how IP cam control application I made works. Um, we'll start by opening <coughs> opening the app and on the right top corner it's a button to press to enter the camera details. I'm gonna create a, a, a custom name for it. Um, I'll call it house house front you can call yours however you like um, now the local IP address hence, since I'm connected to Wi-Fi um, at home I'm gonna use the local IP address which is HTTP make sure you include the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then your local IP address mine is 192.168 dot one dot ninety nine port number mine is ninety nine yours might be eighty or enter whatever it's um, your port number is I created a a demo account for the sake of this video as an admin an admin account and once you enter the details hit save and go and here we are, we connected to control the camera I need to slide and release when you're happy with the positioning slide, hold and release same with up, slide, hold and release slide, hold, release and so on now, um, the app allows you to set up six custom orientations for the camera so let's say we want this one to be position one so go set P1 and we'll move it a bit to the right we want this one to be position 2 so we go set position 2 and let's go back we say camera go to position 1 and then go to position 2 camera goes there um, and so on with the all six positions. Uh, you can navigate through the menu just by sliding left, and we can change the resolution. 320 by 240. It's on 320 by 240 now, so we'll put on 640 by 480. It takes about five, six, five or six seconds to to adjust to the new resolution. Here we are, just a better resolution. Um, so I'll put it back on 320 by 240. I like this option better because it's using less data, obviously, because it's a smaller, um, the quality is uh, low and it's less data to be rendered, to be transferred, and it's also a bit more smoother the, the movement. Um, other options we've got the 50 hertz 60 hertz that's just for indoor and we've got the outdoor button just here for if the camera is installed outside now I'm outdoor because it's the camera is outside so we can also go 50 hertz I'm just going to show you that, that the option works but um, we won't see anything on 50 and 60 hertz whilst it's outdoor because it's too bright so we will change it back to outdoor and yeah it's it's on 320 by 240 now you can flip the image you can just mirror it you can f leave it as default so if your camera is just standing up right you, this is the uh, you you'll get the right orientation image, but if the camera is hanging from the ceiling installed upside down, then you hit the flip and mirror and mirror and you get the correct um, orientation. So we've got the a refresh button at the top there. We've got the current date and time, and the camera name that we that we set just before. Um, 
other options we find here is to turn the motion detection on and off um, and then we have options to turn the this certain camera model um, has the has an annoying green LED flash if you've got that to your camera this this is what this button does turn that turns that flashing LED on and off so I've got mine turned turned off because it's I find it annoying um, also a different type of cameras uh, this button will turn the infrared on and off so if you have it installed in a enclosure at night time as you know having the infrared on it reflects and you won't get to see anything but if you do have some spotlights outside you turn the infrared off and you can see through the casing through the enclosure um, got another option to link and do unlink the um, motion detection with the camera with the house alarm system um, also frames per second the, the speed of the, the refresh speed from uh, we've got the maximum medium and minimum speed it does work with some camera models it doesn't work with others um, it's just a matter of firmware and, and the way the cameras have been set up from factories um, some don't ex don't don't really do any changes um, and then we have the brightness so we can adjust the brightness and the contrast and we can email a screenshot so just hit the button a full screenshot will be attached to, to an email and just type the email who you want to send it to or to yourself or whoever and hit send now I'm just can gonna cancel that reboot works but if I do that now it will take 30 seconds to reboot so I'm not gonna do that right now um, pan tilt so this, this is a speed you can adjust the speed so if I put on, on uh, slow option when we we slide the camera goes really slow to the right really slow to the left if we turn this all the way down it will be really fast so that adjusts the speed so I'm gonna leave it somewhere around there I'm happy with this this speed here um, then you can here you can just by push you can just push once and the camera moves well obviously there will be the controls are inverted right left up and down as the camera is installed upside down um, have a read through this info here just tells you a few other things if you aren't sure about how to use and you can contact me if you have any issues by pressing this email button type your inquiry your feedback over there and hit send and I'll receive and I will reply very shortly after I received the email um, what else I can show you quickly I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn this one off and I will um, try and connect on 3G just to show you that it works on 3G as well this is on Wi-Fi as you can see at the top there so I'll turn the Wi-Fi off and now I'm on 3G so I have to adjust the, the address so to access mine remotely go Just gonna enter the address. Okay, and 
there is we on 3G and I'm connected obviously the refresh rate is not as good on 3G as on Wi-Fi but it works and you can watch this um, anywhere you go pretty much as long as you have internet reception on your phone so here it is um, on landscape you can still use all the controls to maneuver the camera You've got a nice full screen let's see if I can make it a bit more clear and let's put it on higher resolution we'll put it on 640 by 480 and we'll go on landscape so that's as good as it gets but yeah it's, it's good enough for what I need So yep, yeah, thanks for watching the video and um, yeah, the download there will be a link to the download for to download the app in the description and um, yeah, the app is free. This is the the free version. The the full version I'm working on it. The full version will support more than one camera at a time. You can set up and and switch between the two and three or four. Or we'll see how I'll end up um, getting getting with it. Um, yep, the full version will be 99 cents. So if you try this one first, try the free version. You like it, use it. Rate it in the App Store. Send me email, say thanks, or say tell me what you're not happy with, or give me some feedback, please, so I can make it better. Well, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy it. Have a good day.